Shabbat Shalom. During my weekly visitations to the classes this week, one of the young students raised his hand and said, Rabbi, why do we eat pomegranates on Rosh Hashanah? Now, another child heard the, the question and immediately raised his hand and said, Rabbi, let me say the answer. It's because there are 613 commandments. And so to remember those commandments, we eat the pomegranate because the pomegranate has 613 seeds. Now, while this is the official answer, it reminded me of an answer, a beautiful answer that I heard a few years ago. Basically, the pomegranate is unique. You see, the pomegranate has many seeds, and each seed is wrapped in its own luscious fruit. You see, it's different to all other fruits. Apples, oranges, pears, bananas, watermelon. They all have seeds, but they're spread out within the one fruit. But a pomegranate, every seed, is wrapped in its own fruit. And so there's a beautiful message for us in inside the seeds of the pomegranate. You see, sometimes we can ask ourselves, we can tell ourselves, you know, I'm not good enough. I'm not committed enough. If I can't keep everything, then what's the point of keeping anything? I go to shul on Friday night, I respect my parents, but you know, I don't keep kosher, I don't pray every day, I don't give ch charity regularly, so I'm not really a committed Jew. And so to answer that person, we must remember the secret of the pomegranate. You see, every mitzvah we do, every deed that we perform, is its own seed wrapped in its own fruit. It's so precious. It's surrounded by its own blessings. We must never think that just because we don't do all the mitzvot, the individual deeds that we do are not good enough. Every single seed, every action we do is surrounded by its own fruit, is independent, and it brings its own blessings. And so friends, let's remember this message of the pomegranate, especially as we come close to the days of all, Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and indeed, may we take upon ourselves many more little seeds, many more mitzvot to do that will bring us much blessing and much joy, and also to our families and all those in our surroundings as well. Shabbat Shalom.